entertaining. Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat. Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. I requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed account of your previous engagement. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. Visegrad relay. Its data center was home to one of my Xeno archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorvad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-sixties, he died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then. They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the Irrelevant. air. Irrelevant. The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealots. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. Like warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat? Before you ask, I was alerted the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified Tier 1. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Mom? That will be all, George. Recon Team Bravo reporting in. Three and six in position. It's starting to get crowded up here, Cat. Then we're closing in. Report to any Covenant structures or devices. Direct action may be necessary. Copy that. <laughs> when Cat runs an op, direct action is always necessary. Here, you may need these. High velocity, armor piercing. They'll take the hat off an elite at 2,000 yards. And they ain't cheap. I'll be in touch.
jackpot. Transmitting visual. You've seen this cat? Confirmed. Receiving Nova Zero 6 live visual of a Covenant strike force. That's no strike force. It's an invading army. If we're gonna smother this thing, we need to go in hard and fast. Agreed. All recon teams disengage and fall back. Sun will be up in a few hours, and it's going to be a very busy day. It appears that Noble Team's discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large Covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defenses. As per the Winter Contingency, we are countering on every front. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated Covenant army hiding canopies, and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional Covenant forces, the origin of which is yet to be determined. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC command as a priority one target. Net charge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Requiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three, two. Could use some help. On my way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Get us out of here. Control, this is Noble One. Fire one is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound, and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC rounds? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 uh. hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? <sighs> Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Mm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carried them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. And this is relevant. How? 
a certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assist assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's Inspired. not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanction, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. It's scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's gonna go for this. Facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Copy that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. <laughs> 